Hello everyone, it's your boy Vixterity XD, and welcome to NASCAR 2021 by Colt. If you want to play his game, please put a link down in the description below. And also, if you haven't done so yet, please click that subscribe button, click a like on this video, and hit the notifications bell to get updated on future content of mine. Anyways, let's get into this game. I have the sound muted, because apparently there's music on the home menu, and I don't want to get copyrighted. And so here's the home menu, we got the info blowovers, variants of cars, lot very bright and colorful, spectate tools, very nicely designed game, very clean menu. You have the different kinds of cars, and um, uh, unlike other NASCAR games, this you have to do laps to buy your cars. Well, 20 laps for this car, 60 laps for, for Harvick, and you know, it's good to have, uh, have that because it, in, it, it encourages pe players to stay in the game to play, want to play the game more to unlock all the cars. And you got your game passes right here. And you got um, uh, 11, uh, t 10 different tracks. You got your super speedways and your intermediates, your short tracks, and your road courses. We're going to head off to Daytona for um, uh, our first track we're going to check out. Be right with y'all in a minute. All right, everyone, here we are at Daytona. We're going to click play and um, get started. As you can see, it looks like a beautiful track right now. Very nicely designed. Nice, shiny, gloss. The victory lane right here. And why don't we just spawn a car and hit the track? They got the free cars for people in the game for the first time. And your paid cars. I already have a car purchased. I bought the 77 of Ross Chastain. Or Jamie McMurray in this case. And we're going to spawn him. As you can see, the cars use eight chassis, which means you go from first gear, second gear, and notice down here, the, the flames come out. You get all four gears, and it is something really, really spectacular. Also, you have tire wear and fuel usage, which makes it look very realistic. Let's be honest here, this game is uh, pretty fun, especially for people who want to practice some uh, racing. and. On the bottom left corner, it even has a, uh, a map of where you are around the track. That is really cool. And once we're across the start-finish line, we're going to see yet another cool feature from this game. Wait for it. Look at the bottom left corner of your screen. You see an interactive timer. It actually times your lap, and the stopwatch goes while you're racing. Now, clearly, I'm a NASCAR... Uh, now, clearly, you, you won't be able to set a time this fast at Daytona, but this is Roblox. Oh, and it even has a halfway time. 17.494 down the backstretch. Back, the backstretch is set half point time. And off the, and off the corner, we're going to head down the front stretch. And it's going to save our time. 34.931. And they even tell you the position as well. You see we are in P9 right now. Let's see if we can improve on that. It's um, uh, pretty hard to improve because in this track, there's not much room for error. And with track turn and not much room for error, you're basically going full throttle the whole time. And it just matters of, of, of how good you turn. If you can turn well and stay um, above the double yellow line, it's perfect. Another thing I should mention is that the cars are non can collide, which means that they go through each other like ghosts. And we gained another position for P8. Now, we're not going to do another lap this time. Instead, we're going to show you the um, uh, how the pit stops are. Wow, look at look at the sun reflection on, the, on this track. Not to mention, it, I think it goes from day to night. Does it go from day to night? I think so. It has a gloss, very glossy. Oh, and it even has a... The wall even has slowdown effects. It slows you down when you hit the wall. So we're going to head down pit road. Oh! One more thing I must remind you of is that the cars are extremely loose when they go slow. And I missed my pit stall. Back it up, back it up, back it up. And you see, as you can see, you can't really move. God dang it, I missed the race. Actually, we can still make it though, if we get out of pits fast enough. As you can see, they even have the pit sound effect. 
and they even refilled my fuel, which is uh, pretty neat if you ask me. So um, uh, apparently we see a bit of a race going on right now. So we're gonna we're gonna join these guys for a few laps, and then um, uh, we're gonna go visit another track. And also it has corner cut things. So if you um, cut the corners or try to do anything stupid, it's going to invalidate your lap, obviously, because um, uh, cheating cheaters never win. It's always going to find a way to get to you. And somehow you crash while pacing. That, that's actually pretty funny. And oh no! Oh! Karma! Here I am judging him for crashing and then, and then the same thing happens to me. And all because of that, I'm likely going to miss the start. But you know, whatever. It's not like... It. So how about we just... They also got the road course. Oh, I'm doing Doc Hudson drifting. Speaking of Daytona road course, they also have the road course at Daytona as well, and several other tracks. But we're gonna we're gonna go check out another track. All right. So the next track we're visiting right now is Bristol. We're just gonna use the free Chevy. Oh, it also has the E interacting. As you can see, the cars are much different. They accelerate much faster. But unfortunately, there's nobody here, so I'm going to have to race this one alone. And oh, they have like the asphalt mark up there. This game has really lots of detail. And it's very skill-based because in order to actually drive... Whoa! Not to mention, did you see the back end lift up a little bit? That's because these cars also have blowover scripts. You can uh, have blowovers. Similar to how you have blowovers on backstretch battles. You're going to have blowovers here as well. Speed is everything in, in this game, and you gotta also lift in the corners, or you won't get anywhere. And there I go, around I go. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be P1. Well, I'm the only one here, so I kind of have to. Yup, P1. Now this track is a little bit tacky, a little bit on the difficult end. I find myself getting loose a lot right now hitting the wall a lot but but hey 14 seconds ain't bad and here we go on to pit road again and uh, we have we have spun out like Nikita Mazepin in Formula 1 he really loves spinning I can tell you that so yeah also not much here in the infield it has the, the last great Coliseum it got the victory lane ramp up there how about we try jumping this ramp oh my god that was terrible of me you know what I'm gonna go back and, and do that again I'm gonna, I'm, I want to try jumping this ramp I want to be like the evil Knievel of NASCAR so let's see if we can jump this ramp here we go we're getting speed down the chute oh man and we landed on all four wheels now that's what you call a daredevil stunt you know, in a short track, there's not really much to see, so um, uh, let's go Let's go check out another track. Alright everyone, the next track we're going to check out is Texas, which used to be one of my favorite tracks until they reconfigured it in 2017 and uh, put down that, that traction compound which completely messed up the racing and now everyone hates it. Which, I mean, it's kind of, we're going to use the, we're going to use the Ford this time around. But, uh, you know, if this traction compound thing actually works in this game, that would be pretty cool. But for, for when I make my, the sim racing tracks, um, Texas will have the, uh, old configuration because it's much better that way. Nope, traction compound doesn't work. And, heck, even the Indy cars can't race on it. I mean, it looks, it looks awful on the real on the real track I've looked at it before I've watched the races in Texas and uh, they're just not the same with the PJ1 thing it just looks so ugly on the track but the good thing is we're going at full speed to see uh, see if we can put down a good lap of this thing and see if we have to lift in the corners yep we have to lift in the corners but for the most part we're going the same speed throughout the track which is basically the appeal of this uh, 550 aero package you're basically 
whipping it around the track at 178 miles an hour. That's basically what it is now. Gone are the days where you had to actually lift in the corners, let alone break. Now you're just riding a full throttle at 178 miles an hour. That's what NASCAR is, ladies and gentlemen. But I think that will be fixed with the next-gen car. Although the 550 HP package works, works amazing at Las Vegas, there are some tracks where it just does not work, like Michigan, Indianapolis, Texas, the racing is unwatchable. Because it's hard to pass on the PJ1. Okay, the thing about the PJ1 is um, uh, it makes uh, it was intended to make another groove for passing, but apparently it works so well that it's actually faster than the inside groove, and it's the only groove that everyone uses because everyone wants to go fast. Meaning, they've um, uh, they tried cr they, tr they tried um, uh, doing away with one groove racing by by remedying it with more one lane racing. But don't worry, I hope Texas Motor Speedway gets fixed soon, and I hope the next gen car gets gets here soon so that we can um, uh, finally uh, finally have uh, a reason to uh, to watch Texas Motor Speedway. They're hosting the All Star Race, which is a pretty questionable decision. But NASCAR will be NASCAR. <laughs> Now, let's check out one more track, the Daytona Road Course. Okay, here we are at the Daytona Road Course. Looks exactly the same as Daytona, but unfortunately, there's nobody here. So, I'm lonely. Sad boy hours. Anyway, uh, we're going we're gonna to whip out our 77 car, and we're going to take this for a spin at the road course. So, yeah. Want to get a good shot for my for my thumbnail? Yikes! Whoa, whoa! I never knew road course racing would be so hard. But let's just try to make it through this thing. I mean, clearly, road course racing is not easy at all. Or, or maybe we can just try Doc Hudsoning it, Doc Hudsoning it through the turns, just turn right to go left. If you know what I mean. All right, we're gonna go around this corner. Oh, come on! I give the lightest of steering and it just spins me around like a record. Oh, whoa, I saved it right there. I can't believe I saved it. And also, if anyone's watching the NASCAR, eNASCAR Pro, Pro Invitational, you'll find that Kevin Harvick's son, Keelan Harvick, will be racing with the pros. Oh my god, isn't that like amazing right there? I mean, I personally can't believe it. That, that, that they're putting the kid in this. I mean, I'm really happy for, for Keelan Harvick. He's, um, uh, he's done a great job racing, and I can tell, give it 15 or 20 years, and he'll be racing with those cup guys as, as his daddy is right now. I know he's going to make it. I mean, I see him have, having a bright future in the motorsport world. Oh man, so hard to drive on these road courses. You know what? Um, also, they did not even bother to add them, uh, the, the turtles, which is uh, uh, pretty sad. They didn't add the... Whoa! Okay. All right, so clearly these are not these are not cars for hardcore racing. It's just, you know, a, a, a nice game for, um, uh, for, for leisure. It's um, a very good game. Also, uh... Yep, very good game for Leisure, very nice lighting, and um, we'll wrap it up here for today. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ding that notifications bell for future, oh my god, my phone. Never mind that, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.